PLC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company Taltronics. And this is their 40 inch soundbar. So this is our first introduction to the brand Taltronics. This is gonna be our first impression of the quality of their products. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna jump into this box, see what it comes with, and then you'll, you'll go to the website at plcnetwork.net to see what we have to say about it later on. But for accessories, what comes with the 40 inch soundbar is a little remote control, typical for a soundbar. You have your power button, a mute button. You have your typical dial control with volume up and down, uh, fast forward and rewind and play and pause in the center. You have Bluetooth auxiliary, optical and coax, and then a center button that might not do anything. It's not labeled. So either that's a dummy button waiting for a future model, or maybe it's an okay button, or it'll be better to find in the instructions. But that's all you have. It's a really simple, remote control, which is, like I said, quite similar to just about every Bluetooth soundbar out there. You have a small little card here that says, are you happy? Are you not satisfied? Let us know. So I'll just reach out to them. Uh, you have an extended 18 month warranty. You have some instructional materials that kind of walk you through setting up the soundbar and how, you know, the connectivity works. You have a box here with some additional accessories. You have an optical cable. You have two anchors and screws here for mounting it. You have a 3.5 millimeter to RCA left and right adapter. And of course you have a power adapter for plugging it into the wall. The speaker is pretty lightweight, which is always nice, especially if you're mounting it. And you don't have access to any studs in the right locations. It seems to be packaged quite well. So that way during its journey, it doesn't get damaged. You have their cool little TT branded logo here at the top of the soundbar. Uh, it sits with kind of like a wedge style design pointing at the viewer. So your main cones are gonna be in here, plus it has two woofers inside. You have push button access here in the front for power. Looks like mute, volume up and volume down. You have a kind of soft set of two feet here to keep it from sliding around while if you if you choose to set it on a flat surface if you choose to instead mount it it actually comes with the mounting brackets already installed to the speaker itself so all you have to do is, is put the screws in the wall measure them out obviously the distance between the two and then just pop this onto the wall the back side of it you have the optical input, a coaxial input, which is an alternative digital input similar to the optical. You have your DC input for the power adapter, and of course your left-right RCA jacks right here to take 3.5 coming out of the, the TV, if that's all you have, to the RCA left and right on the speaker. Back to the front, you have a small little LCD display that shows your status in terms of what input device you're currently selected or have selected. So Bluetooth, optical, etc., auxiliary, and that's it. It's really simple. Again, this is the Taltronics 40 inch sound bar. So this is great for any kind of TV that's around 40 inches. Uh, usually it looks kind of awkward if you put a smaller TV to that. So try to keep it as a minimum at 40 inches at most, maybe about 50, 55 inches. And uh, anything beyond that, you want to go with a little bit of a bigger sound bar, possibly, maybe. But we'll have that in the story later at plcnetwork.net once we've had the chance to actually test this thing out. So again, Taltronics 40-inch sound bar. And check it out on the website once we get the review done. And of course, if you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe below. There's the button down there as well as a comment area so you can reach out to us. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.